What's going on everyone and welcome to the Vermintide 2 Witch Hunter Captain range tier list. Starting off in C tier, I have the Volley Crossbow. Now this weapon uh, kind of gets some hate, but it does pretty good damage. The, the big problem with it is that it fires very rapidly, shooting three arrows at a time, 15 to a clip. Um, so it runs out of ammo incredibly fast. Now this can be avoided on, say like, occasionally on Bounty Hunter, and even Zealot with crits and scrounger, but you can't really do that with Witch Hunter Captain. Yeah, he gets increased crit chance, and you might get lucky with scrounger once in a while, but you're still going to run out of ammo pretty quick with this. That, and it's also not so great for long range, it's kind of hard to headshot with. Um, you know, it's alright for monsters, but it's really just kind of a niche thing. It only works well in certain situations. I don't really think Witch Hunter Captain has much uh, use out of this range weapon. So for me, it's in C tier because he just relies so heavily on critting and headshots. Bumping up to B tier, I've got the repeater pistol. Um, now this is a close range uh, type of range weapon. It does really good damage. Um, if you hold the, uh, at least on PC, if you hold the, the right click, you can kind of spin the entire gun and fire a, uh, a shotgun attack, which fires all eight bullets at once. So you know, if you're cornered and you need to, like, uh, murder an elite or something that's about to bear down on you, you can shotgun them, get out of the way. I think it's pretty decent for monsters as well in that regard. If you can uh, hit them on the head, of course, um, you know, take death nail, hit them on the head, pretty good. Um, with this one, I would just, you, you kind of almost have to run, like, the extra ammo talent with both of these. Um, because, again, it does run out very quickly. Firing all of your bullets at once uh, can make you run out pretty quick, but... Other than that, other than the ammo issues with this weapon, it's not that bad, you know? Um, it's not so great for, like, super long range, but, uh, you know, medium to close range, it's pretty good. B tier. Bumping up to A tier, I've got the Brace of Pistols, one of my favorite range weapons in the, gra in the game. Um, these do absolutely monumental boss damage. Um, they're great for monsters. Um, they're even pretty good for, like, elites and specials and stuff. Um, they don't have a zoom function, of course, um, but they have a rapid fire mode, which is pretty cool. Um, the only kind of downside is that they have pretty low ammo and the reload times uh, are kind of long because you're reloading like two shots at once. I think it's a five second reload time, but don't quote me on that. That's just off the top of the dome there. Um, you pretty much have to take Scrounger with this one. I mean, you could take Barrage, but you're going to you're gonna run out of ammo. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so... I mean, you could do Conservative Shooter, I guess, but I think Scrounger would be a bit better. Um, I think these things crit quite a bit, so, um, you know, and with his increased crit chance, um, you'll at least get some of your ammo back. You can you can make it last, is the thing. They do really good damage, so you can kind of make it last. Um, and on the flip side, you can take the, uh, the more ammo talent if you need to, but I think these are really the only ranged weapon on this list that don't require uh, taking the talent of death knell which is 50% more headshot damage you can use like flens or even repost if you want to um, kind of everything else except maybe, maybe the volley crossbow because it's kind of hard to headshot with but everything else I think you would kind of have to take death knell um, but the the burst pistols you don't have to do that because they already do such good damage um, so these are quality weapon absolutely um, they can do close range they can do long range they're a little bit weak against armor, I think, but still, you know, they're they're pretty good. Um, the brace pistols are really fun. Definitely A tier. Bumping, bumping up to S tier, I've actually got the crossbow. Um, now this might seem a little bit weird, the crossbow, but uh, it's pretty good. Um, it does really nice damage. You know, if you take the talent of death nail and tag an elite and you get a headshot, I mean, that'll be doing the same kind of damage as, like, Merc or, um, not mercenary huntsman's uh, uh, empire longbow and so I mean pretty good damage take conservative shooter on it you don't need to run the extra ammo talent um, makes for a really good all-around uh, kind of witch hunter captain build um, it's specialized this is you know it's gonna zoom obviously so it specializes for like elites kind of coming up towards you and specials and maybe on the distance which I think is really what a range weapon is all about kind of dealing with disablers dealing with elites Occasionally uh, dealing with monsters. This one isn't really so great for monsters, but on Witch Hunter Captain, he has the capability to kind of melee damage some monster, um, some monster health away. So 
it's not really a huge deal that they don't do crazy monster damage, but I think it's definitely more important to get those specials, to get those elites, um, and kill them like that. So, yeah. That's my list, guys. S tier, I've got the crossbow. A tier, I've got the brace of pistols. B tier, I've got the repeater pistol. And then down in C tier, I've got the volley crossbow. Hope you guys enjoyed.